Welcome to another edition of Black and Blue. And uh, I'm Pastor Sheehan. And I'm Deaconess Micah. And today, uh, what's the topic? What's on the menu? Um, indispensable. Indispensable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I indispensable? Are you indispensable? Are, yes! are you indispensable? Yes. Yes, yes, you are. Resounding yes. Yes. And that's because we're going we're, we're gonna to get right to it. Uh, we are incorporated. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about a business, okay, being incorporated, okay? No, uh, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. We're talking about uh, holy b -b 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 baptism. Holy baptism. At the font with three splashes of promise, we are washed into the body of Christ. Christ. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Uh, named and claimed, right? Amen. That is you, that is me, that's all of us, right? The baptized. We are in the body of Christ, incorporated into Jesus the Christ. And what does that really mean, Deaconess Micah? It means that you have a home, you have belonging, you have a, a family, and most especially a, a Father in Heaven who loves you and delights in you. You are, um, you belong. Yeah, and and you know we're we're kind of playing off of First Corinthians twelve with uh, this idea of incorporated, right? Mm -hmm. Where Paul writes in First Corinthians twelve, for just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many are one body, so it is with Christ. For in one Spirit we were all, all, all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free. Michigan State fan and U of M fans, inside baseball, and all were made to drink of one spirit. We don't, we don't generally talk about baptism in terms of drinking the spirit, no. but that's what Pastor Paul does right here. We're chugging the Holy Spirit in baptism. What is that all about? Serious oh, question. Yes, I know it is. <laughs> I know it is, but it's such a beautiful question. I mean, it's not just this outward washing. It's it's coming in. Yeah. Our hearts. Uh, our There's whole a being. transformation that occurs from the inside out. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, this is not some symbolic act here, right? Right. There's something occurring mm -hmm. internally. Yes. Transformationally. <laughs> we are being yeah. adopted into the family of God. What a joy to know that uh, we have a place in God's house, as you were saying beautifully, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we belong. Yes. And we don't, we don't have to wait to be at home with the Father. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's right here, right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what's really beautiful, though, about being incorporated into the body of Christ is we don't really lose our individuality. Yeah. So that's our, our, our second word, right? Mm -hmm. Individuals. Mm -hmm. We're incorporated into the body, but we mm -hmm. remain individuals right we're not just lost in the sea <laughs> we're not just, yeah, a drop of water lost in the sea that's right yep. uh, that's absorbed the into, absorbed, <laughs> absorbed uh, uh, into the ocean right mm -hmm. um, we uh, we actually become more of who God meant us to be yeah by being yeah. incorporated into the body mm -hmm. uh, you know we are God's masterpiece yes his uh, his artwork Mm -hmm. um, as Paul says in, in Ephesians chapter 2, right, the word is workmanship. I mean, that word there really means, you know, masterpiece. And God is this artist, and he's sculpting us into the very mm -hmm. people that he created us to be. Mm -hmm. And so in the body of Christ, we become more of who we were always meant to be. Mm -hmm. uh, we become, uh, I guess... <laughs> personalities <laughs> yeah we do powered by that holy spirit yeah who we're given in our baptism yep yeah and and, and so so uh, i think we have a little verse uh from first corinthians 12 we for this right do. yeah read away deaconess first, from first corinthians 12 um but as it is god arranged the members in the body each one of them as he chose if all were a single member where would the body be as it is there are many parts yet one body now, I mean, that's what's really special. I mean, Paul gives some examples of, like, if we were all eyes, if we were all just an eye, that would be... Gross! <laughs> oh, that's like a thing of a, like, from a horror film. Just like this huge eye. Staring at Yeah, it. you're like just minding your own business. You look out the window, and here's this huge eye. The size of, like, a two-story building. 
Oh boy, that oh okay. yeah. I hadn't thought that, of it that big, but oh, yeah. Man. But if we're all just an eye, then where's the hearing? Where's mm-hmm. the smelling? I mean, I, I like the smell. Where's the talking? <laughs> I like to drink my coffee. I, mm-hmm. If I if we we're all just one big eye, no smelling coffee, no drinking coffee, no enjoying coffee. Mm-hmm. I guess just seeing the coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Or or if we were all an ear again, mm-hmm. something from like a horror movie. Mm-hmm. The big great oh. ears. Woo! Scary everything. stuff. I mean, the the point that Paul is is getting at, he's using these like absurd pictures to make the point that we are all part of the body, mm-hmm. but we're all like we have, we have we have different roles to play. We're all unique, and none is greater or less than the other. Because uh, are you really going to do the ranking system of well, my smell is more important than seeing than than uh, my ability to hear. Are, do we go through that with our lives? I don't think so. Well, we shouldn't anyway. We shouldn't anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So like within the body of Christ, you know, the, the, we're not competitors. We're companions. Yeah. We, we see one another as really the unique, uh, uh, really uh, unrepeatable gift mm-hmm. that that person is. Yeah. Every human being is unrepeatable. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You are unrepeatable. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. you, th- there's... There's only going to be one you in the history of mankind, mm-hmm. which is pretty remarkable to think about. Yes, when you is. look around your congregation to think, these are the very people that God placed in this parish mm-hmm. for this moment. And that makes every parish actually unique, too. Mm-hmm. We, know, we, we, we don't even play the comparison game, you know, with, with, with congregations. Right. You know, I look at congregations as having, like, it, their own unique DNA, just like people, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, the people that God puts together in a congregation like here at 303 Ruth Street in Auburn, mm-hmm. Michigan. Um, you know, he's putting the people together for his purposes for that given parish. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's really beautiful. He's the, he's the uh, what do we like to call him? He's the uh, director. He's the uh, conductor, conductor of yeah. this orchestra. <laughs> yep. And all of us have a, an instrument to play mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. in his band. Right. Making exactly. beautiful music. <laughs> I'll go with the triangle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were a percussionist, right? I was. Yeah, I, I was. played alto. Saxophone. Saxophone. Oh, Saxophone. That's a Homer Simpson reference. Oh, but there we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again, dating myself, right? Uh-huh. That's okay. That's okay. We still love you. Oh, You're still thank you. very unique. <laughs> Individual. <laughs> and and if God is the one orchestrating all of this, and he is, mm-hmm. and he has placed this person next to me in this parish, mm-hmm. then who am I to say that I can write that person off? I need yeah. that person, and this person needs me. Mm-hmm. Just like my ears need my feet, and my feet need my ears, mm-hmm. uh, because they have different purposes. <laughs> right. How, how would the ears get around to hear stuff if it weren't for the feet? Mm-hmm. And and how could how could uh, you know the feet enjoy you know just just all the sounds of creation if it mm-hmm. weren't for the ears? Mm-hmm. Uh, so it is with the body of Christ. We all have our roles to play to build one another up, mm-hmm. and to do so um, knowing that God is working His purposes, mm-hmm. His will for your parish, for our parish, and so we're not competing against each other. We are working together. We're companions. Yeah. Not com- not competitors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. As this yeah. church is getting, get, as the body of Christ is getting built up. It's built amazing. up. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. And this whole thing that's getting built together, um, this church that our Lord has made, it's what a comfort that, what does Jesus say about it? Indestructible. <laughs> unconquerable. Unbeatable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The gates yeah. of hell can't prevail against my church. That's what Jesus yes. says, right? King Jesus, mm-hmm. yeah, gates, mm-hmm. yeah, they can't, the, the, you know, hell's gates can't, can't conquer Christ church. Yeah. Uh, you know, the devil can huff and puff all he wants. He can't blow down Christ church. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are, um, in the body of Christ, which is indestructible. And we know this because of the head, mm-hmm. the head of the body is Jesus, the Christ who lived and he died. He mm-hmm. allowed everything that could ever destroy us. Uh, just get unleashed on him on the Friday we call good. And three days later, he he rose. He came out of the grave, walking uh, all over death, 
walking all over sin, walking all over the devil, mm-hmm. right? All the mm-hmm. powers of evil and darkness, Jesus over overcame. Yes. He came, he saw, he conquered. And now he's Wenny the- Weedy Weechy. That's what Jesus said <laughs> on Easter, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> I came, I saw, I conquered. Boom. And uh and uh you know, he's the head mm-hmm. and he uh breathed out his spirit on you, on me in baptism to make us his body. Mm-hmm. And uh where the head goes, the body follows. And so we know that there is through death resurrection and everlasting life Mm -hmm. and so we need not fear whatever we face Mm -hmm. there is nothing that can actually uh knock us down and keep us down right because jesus is gonna pick us up Mm -hmm. on the last Mm -hmm. day right take us by the hand and lead us out of our graves in joyful procession into new heavens new earth so that means that uh we can we can go into conversations with people Mm -hmm. that uh maybe don't look like us sound like us confess like mm-hmm. us and we yeah. get to share what that they are indispensable yeah yeah we can fearlessly do that knowing there's nothing to be afraid yeah. we have king jesus who's made us a part of his body you know so we have nothing to fear but everything to to give yeah and and our world needs to hear that there's so many people who are so confused who are just longing to know that they belong that they're that they have a purpose that they're valuable um a lot of times there's so much pressure these days to to create yourself create your own identity to yeah. create your purpose and that's a lot of pressure yeah it's like you know uh, so many people think they have to like build a life mm-hmm. earn a life mm-hmm. uh create a life mm-hmm. um you know when when actually life has actually Life has found us, yes. right? Yes. In baptism. Mm-hmm. We want them to meet this one who is life. God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Place mm-hmm. his name on them mm-hmm. and say, you're mine. You are my beloved. I'm well pleased with you. I'm tickled pink to call you my son, my daughter. Mm-hmm. And to be incorporated then into this family where they have purpose and meaning, mm-hmm. a place of belonging, that, mm-hmm. that their gifts uh, can be used uh, for purposes that are far greater than anything else in this world. Mm-hmm. Uh, eternal purposes. Yeah. Eternal meaning. Yeah, eternal meaning. And it's so unique. It's not, it. you know, the, what you give to the church will, is very unique from what I do. And yeah. no one else is going to do it the exact same way as you or as you. <laughs> or as <laughs> or you. <me>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which is yeah. amazing and, and mind-boggling. Yeah. And, and to know that, uh, yeah, with, with all the, the messy, with all the violence, with all mm-hmm. the, you know, evil that's in this world, uh, we are indestructible. For them to know that, yeah. that they are indestructible in Christ. They mm-hmm. are built Jesus strong. And uh, and they need not fear death because even death is destroyed. Mm-hmm. Uh, death is conquered. Uh, Jesus uh, has trampled down death with his Easter morning resurrection. He shares that victory with his body, uh, the church. And so we want people to be incorporated, to see themselves as the individuals that, uh, that God is, uh, is making them uh, into, that yeah. he created them to be, and to enjoy this indestructibility, right? That right. we are moving uh, together as, as God's uh, a church, as Christ's body, uh, into the new heavens and the new earth, mm-hmm. where every tear will be wiped from our eyes, and we will be uh, finally the people that he created us to be mm-hmm. will be his, uh, his finished, uh, work of art, his mm-hmm. finished masterpiece. Yes. And we'll get to just enjoy, man. We'll, we'll, we'll look around and be like, there, there's art right there. Some more art. Oh, God's masterpiece. Another one. And just rejoice in that for all yeah. eternity. Get to revel in it. <laughs> yeah. But even now we get to begin to do that, to see, yes. uh, you know, the people around us in mm-hmm. the congregation, as God's masterpieces mm-hmm. and uh, in his work of art uh, in, in process, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And see ourselves as that, too. We're all a work in progress. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. That we are, but we're all indispensable. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh. So what a joy to know that we are indispensable. Mm-hmm. Uh, our baptism tells us so. Amen. Yeah, amen. 
So, uh, by his wounds. We are healed. Yeah, until next time, friends. Toodles. Toodles.